Guys, what is up everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at ACA Akala token. Um, we're gonna be diving into the technical analysis aspect. We're also gonna be having a look at Bitcoin. Um, we are currently consolidating in this range. So if I go actually on the four hour time frame, we've been in this range right here. We're also gonna be having a look at the inverse, I mean the regular head and shoulder that could be potentially bearish um right here this is the left shoulder head and then right shoulder potentially forming we're going to be diving into that as well um and that's about it so bitcoin and akala that's what we have today and i'm also gonna tell you guys about this channel in just a second but akala token real quick ranked 406 we got 60,000 people on the watch list currently traded at one dollar and 60 cents 16 cents now the interesting thing about this is that the market cap is fairly low we have an $80 million market cap, guys. This, people are predicting that this will go to two to $3 billion market cap. This is very, very, very low. Akala is gonna be big in my opinion. Um, volume to market cap ratio is 27%. That means people are trading this coin, guys. People are trading this. This is not, um, this is not you know, nothing. This is a good amount. So um, yeah, let's have a look anyway. So $80 million market cap. Let's have a look at real quick what Akala is. First of all, they had a crown load. A crown loan a few weeks ago that ended. This is how many dots were contributed, guys. 32,515,989. That is a lot, a lot of um, uh, a, a dot to contribute to a network, essentially. Now, what it, what is it? The DeFi hub for the Polkadot. Scale your dApp to Polkadot with Akala, an Ethereum-compatible smart contract platform to optimize for DeFi, guys. People are saying, or not people, this will be a, um, first of all, it's a layer one, okay, on the Polkadot ecosystem. So this is not an ETH coin. It's not, you know, on Bitcoin. This is not on, it's built on the Polkadot eco ecosystem. Let's start off with that. And the second thing is that this, um, this is the platform right here. I'm pretty sure that they will be a, um, it's not live yet, by the way. I just want to clarify, this thing is not live yet. But it will be like a Uniswap of um, of uh, the Ethereum uh, of the Ethereum ecosystem, essentially. Uh, so this would be a call would be like Uniswap right here. Transaction fee powered. So the transaction fee right here are extremely, extremely, extremely slow. And I believe you can pay uh, transaction fee with any token. Yeah, accepted in any token. Pay your gas with virtually any token. So you could actually pay gas fees with USDT, USDC. AUSD, AUSD is the call as the call, um, the USD backed by Kala, but of course it's pegged to the dollar. Dot BTC and Ethereum, so you could actually pay with all of these, which is very very interesting. Um, of course, guys, if you want to learn more about it, the Dot Father right here, he has everything. What is a Kala? Uh, tutorials, the network tutorial, uh, how to mint AUSD. So very very interesting channel. Um, this is a brand new channel, of course. Um, uh, really, really got, created a literally uh, a few weeks. Uh, January joined February twenty third. We're February twenty seventh. So this is literally a week ago. This was joined. So very, very new guys. I would highly recommend looking at this channel. The Dot Father sixty nine subscribers, and that's about it. Uh, let's dive in into the charts of Bitcoin first, and then actually no, let's start off with Akala first because you know we are um, we we're already talking about Akala. So after that, I'm gonna make a Bitcoin. Um, a Bitcoin TA because we know Bitcoin is king. There's no question about that. So first of all, we are clearly in a downtrend right here, as you guys can see on the 30 minute time frame. We are making a uh, very, very, um, we are trying to break out essentially. So we have a few peaks right here. Akala is up 5% right here, as you guys can see. Um, this is the trend. Um, now, can we see a pullback? Yes, we can. The RSI, we see him a little bit over overbought right here on the RSI. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a nice little pullback. Let's have a look on the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we got two rejections. That's actually interesting. Three. So this is a pretty strong, um, strong trend line right here. Resistance. We had a few rejections. Um, the good thing is that the pullback, we didn't come all the way down right here. So we had a nice little, uh, nice explosion right here. So if I take this, take it to the top, we had a 50% 50, 50 pump followed by a bull flag. Now, this is a bull flag, guys. This is pretty, pretty bullish, okay? Assuming we break out of this, right? If Bitcoin pops, our target, okay? And I like bull flags. They're pretty, pretty accurate. Our target should be 1.55. Now, assuming you take a long right here and you take it right here, um, that's 33%, guys. That's a 33% increase on AC at Kala. Now, keep in mind, this is an 80% coin in market cap, so it is fairly low. And, um, and of course, like, uh, you know, the, the lower the market cap is, the the, the easier um, it is, it, it will be for it to fluctuate essentially. But um, let's have a look at this important resistance right here real quick. We do have a box right here that's a support, which flipped to resistance because we came down below it. 
um, this right here, we got rejected, we got rejected right here, and now we're facing an important, important resistance. So of course, depending on what Bitcoin does in the near future, if we did end up pop, uh, popping to the upside or to the downside, that's really going to dictate this move uh, right here. My next um, target should be, in my opinion, right here. I know I said 1.55, but uh, 1.3 would be a good TP1. And the reason why that is, is because um, we do have a resistance right here. And if I drag this all along, we have a resistance that comes back all the way down here. So if we manage to break that, I wouldn't be surprised if we take a nice little move to 1.55, which would essentially be the 33%. Right here, currently up 5.3% 5 5 as we are speaking. So it went up a little bit, um, approximately 0.7%. Anyways, another thing I want to have a look at is the trend is your friend, guys. This is on the daily time frame. Of course, there's not so much history right here, but... We are breaking a nice little trend line on Akala. So if that happens, what can the price prediction be? Well, guys, first of all, the immediate short-term price prediction, in my opinion, should be right here, 15%, 1.39. But if you guys really want to have a long, you know, price prediction for this in the long, long term, I would not be surprised if Akala goes to $80 to $100. Um, I mean, let's go back right here and do some math real quick, okay? So we have a market cap of $80 million. We have a circulating supply of $69 million three hundred and four thousand four hundred and eighty one okay so if i take out actually the calculator and i bring it right here and i do let's say 69 times 80 guys we would have a market cap at 55 of um 500 and no yeah is that 55 billion sorry that was uh that was uh, not not proper one second 69 304 481 times 50 Let's just do 50 guys. So we would have a market cap of $3 billion approximately. Okay. And it's not high. $50, $3 billion is not high. So this can actually 50 X from here. And, um, and we would still have a market cap this, um, this big, which is very, very nice. You know, $50 is doable, especially because it's on the polka dot ecosystem, but let's have a look at Bitcoin real quick. Um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin on the four hour time frame real quick. This is a short TA guys. I'm not going to make it too long. I do have a few notifications. I'm going to be bullish on Bitcoin if we break above 41,000. But first of all, we do have these two lines right here. We've been consolidating between these uh, area right here for quite some time. Now, in my opinion, if we manage to break and close above, you know, 40,000, we're most likely going to continue up. We're probably going to have a retest before going back up right here. If we close below, um, we're most likely going to come back and retest the um, you know, this level right here, the 34,000, maybe we're going to consolidate from there. But, uh, right now, as you can see guys, Bitcoin is currently getting rejected as we are speaking. It's having an extremely, extremely difficult time breaking above it, but let's have a look on the daily time frame or the four hour time frame real quick at this inverse head and shoulder that could potentially be happening. People are calling this a right shoulder right here. Let me see. So we do have a right shoulder right here and then a head. Now, I don't like this because we didn't come all the way down, but that's interesting. And then we could potentially have another one like this. This would be a regular head and shoulder. If this happens, we would essentially come back down to let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So if I take this right here and I put it at the breakout, assuming that this is a head and shoulder, we would actually come back to this level right here, which is the $30,000 level that I've been talking about. So this is actually a very, very interesting level uh, to watch. This is a level I've been eyeing for quite some time, the $30,000 level. I said I wouldn't be buying until then. Can we come back to these regions? Yes, definitely. In my opinion, we will. But um, yeah, that's that on uh, on uh, the head and shoulder. But let's have a look at the RSI real quick. Another thing, I mean, not the RSI, the exponential moving average. Another thing that I do want to have a look at is this right here. Um, yes, we know that every time Bitcoin drops down we usually come back and retest the exponential moving average okay it's been like this right here as you guys can see we came back down retest it came back down retest it rejected then came back up finally for a nice little breakout and even right here and i could even go more to the top side so these ema ribbons don't lie um can we see something like this it, look, it seems like bitcoin is getting tired with these three candles right here yes we saw a nice little bullish candle right here but it seems like this is getting tired and we're getting ready for a reversal. Of course, we had a nice little sell pressure earlier. Um, whatever happens at the end of the day, the futures charts are coming out later today, the CME's uh, futures. So uh, we do have a small gap right now of approximately $3, uh, $300. So that's also gonna be very, very interesting. Anyways, guys, this is my video on Bitcoin Akala. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.